Okay then guys, welcome to Rampart. This is the Atari Lynx conversion. Bloody good it is too. As you can see it's got some nice little animated intro, which isn't in the um, other home versions that I'm aware of. It came out on a hell of a lot of systems though, so it's quite possible I may have missed it. Anyway, let's get down to the meat and meat of the actual game, and it's it's a really nice little strategy title. So we'll um we'll go for a recruit and we'll start off nice and easy. So basically, first of all, you wanna you wanna choose your castle. So we're gonna go for this one here because it's um there's a nice little nice little range, so you you're pretty safe there. So once you've chosen your castle, you get a small wall. And you get a set amount of cannons, and as you can see, this is a little cutscene showing you that, hey, the cannons are out. So, as you can see there, we've got three cannons that we can place. You want to you wanna place them as close together as you can. And now, it's combat. Yeah! So, let's go. Ready, aim. Nice speech and everything. So obviously what we're doing now is the ships are attacking me and we blow the shit out of them. And we blow the shit out of them good. So, and then once that's done, it's rebuild time. And we've got a blank screen. It's rebuild time and as you can see, it's a bit like Tetris now. So you you got your shapes. You can turn them around. And ideally, you want to you want to build this as quickly as you can because you obviously only get a limited amount of time. And if I'm not careful, I'm gonna die. Oh shit! Just missed it. Bit tricky to get to the <laughs> go on. So, well, let's um let's go back into it again. See if we um have any more luck this time but I, I just think this is a really slick version it works really well on the links the original arcade game first came out with a trackable although there was a kit version which basically used the joystick as well obviously the joystick's not going to be anywhere near as responsive but, but it's surprising how well this works on the um on atari's little handheld so here we go obviously visually it's nothing special but everything is nice and clear does look really good on the Lynx's screen as well. Sound is impressive as you can tell. Oh look at my look at my home here. So basically the Red Army's um, won that because we was able to take out the ground forces and now we get to choose a new location to defend. So um, let's go for this one. So again we choose a castle. As you can see there's a lot more boats this time round. Now, in the arcades, you could play this up to three players, and it was immense fun. Unfortunately, you've only got two player on the links, as far as I'm aware, via multi-tap, via, via the link-up. But, um, it's just very good. Again, nice little animation. It doesn't really do anything. Some say that it cuts up the action, but I think it all works quite nicely. Oh, come on, look at the reach. Oh, nothing worse than your... Shots just fallen short on the old cannonball. So as you can see, my um, castle's taken a hell of a lot of damage. Little men will come out eventually. Ah, oh, look at this. That's a problem with emulation. So and here we go. Let's um, let's quickly build it back up. So quick as we can. Doing a bit better this time. Come on. Oh, I've not. Oh, I've not done it again. Shit. Oh look, I've got. I've got a tiny little, tiny little base bit. See, normally what would happen now? I'm, I'm doing terrible on this. What would happen now is that, obviously, your castle. If you can make it bigger, you'll be given more cannons. Which makes it that little bit easier to basically take on the assault. So I'm obviously I'm I'm, I'm not playing it very well here at the moment, but hopefully you've got you've got the gist of how this works. Um, it came out on everything from like it came out on the SNES, the Mega Drive, the um, the Amiga. So odds are, 
you're going to have a system at home which can play this great little game. And I'm Darren Jones from Retro Gamer. I'll have more videos for you. See, look, we've got it filled now, so we can hopefully try and build another castle very, very soon. There we go, a little bit more space. Every little helps, as Tesco so often say. So obviously now we're getting all these bonuses, which is how you rack up your high score. And the scenario begins all over again. So it's a fairly straightforward game, fairly simplistic, but... You know, as, as with a lot of puzzle strategy games, it's often the simplest strategies that tend to work the best anyway. Die! Die! So I shall see you guys later.